Hey guys, it's your girl Kat and I'm back with another video. So today I'm doing a review on Bobby Boss Faux Lock, aka Cali Locks. I purchased three packs of this hair, two packs in the color one, and the last one in the color 1B slash burgundy, which is basically a black and red mix. In each pack, you get about three sections, and in each section, you have about 10 um, locks. And in a total of 90, I used about, I want to say, 75, 80 locks to complete this wig this diy wig i purchased this hair at my local beauty supply store and the frontal i had purchased online on amazon straight out the pack i am in love with these locks they're very lightweight they're not heavy they're not hard they have the perfect amount of distress to them so immediately i'm looking at these and i'm like these are going to meet my expectations for the look that i'm trying to create so y'all, I'm going to apologize. I'm sorry for the recording starting at this point, which is practically halfway through the DIY wig. I did not think it was going to come out this good, to be honest. This is my first DIY. Well, this is technically my second DIY lock unit. My first one was like back in 2018. So it was a very trial and error type of unit. You feel me? But this one came out so, so good. And I'm so proud of myself. But again, I did not think it was going to come out this good. So... I started actually recording this for my channel midway through um, finishing this, but I did, however, start it from the very, very beginning, like the actual steps on my Instagram. So definitely follow your girl on Instagram. She followed back. I actually did my step-by-step -step from when the actual frontal was just hair, showing how I did my box braids, how I put my locks in, all that. Like I actually show that on my Instagram as well as I always drop a sneak peek video of what I'm going to be dropping on my channel before it actually hits YouTube. So definitely consider um, following your girl on Instagram. She followed back. Oh my god, I told myself I wasn't going to talk too much in this video. I wanted it to be a real chill and visual type of, you know, vibe. But okay, so the unit, as you can see, when I lift the locks, is not super, super full. It's giving like a very, like, lightweight, realistic type of look. But when I lift the locks, you can see it has like that ruched or that scrunched. I, don't come for your girl, but you know what I'm trying to say. So, like, when you do that type of effect, it makes the unit look more full. You're getting a lot more cap that way, and it still stays stretchy. So, that's, like, the trick that I'm using. You feel me? So, like, you want that full look where you're not exposing that cap, but you don't want to use too much locks where it's, like, overpowering your head or just the wig itself. So, go ahead and do that little trick where you use, you know, you sew on the lock but you use a little bit more cap so you can have that stretch effect and the rouge will actually cover more um cap space
crochet needle in the lock, you want to make sure it's hitting the direct middle of the lock. So when you pull that braid through, it's covered all around, okay? Um, for those who are new to wigs, I know you see those two cornrows in the front, and if you don't know, um, those are for my baby hairs. So I, you know, purposely separated my baby hairs from the rest of the wig. I um, will be taking those cornrows from the sides out once the whole look is completed, and then when I take the braids out, I'll go ahead and thin that hair for a um, you know thinner, realistic looking baby swoops. And that's about it. That's towards the ending of the video. And one more thing, I just wanted to touch up on the parts that I'm pretty sure you're watching. Um, I do go ahead and randomly pull out like pieces of hair and start wrapping again. That's an optional thing. The hair isn't going to come out. I'm just very extra and I just figured like it looks cute. It's already distressed. There's nothing wrong with having a little bit extra distress to your locks. This is the construction of the unit after I took it off the mannequin head. Um, as you can see, my braids are still there. I'm, I'll be taking that out shortly in the next clip to go ahead and put in my baby hair. And that's about it. So this is the inside of the cap. You can go ahead and put a little bit more extraness into it. You can go ahead and put some combs in it. You could put an elastic band in it. I didn't put either of those things. All I did was brush my foundation color on the lace to, you know, of course, give it a more seamless look and took out the um, cornrows to sweep my baby hairs and cut off the lace. the end of the video.
video guys as well as the end result thank you so so much for watching this video if you have not please definitely don't forget to subscribe to your girl so you know when i drop my next video okay and i'll see you in my next upload later